Hi there guys, DSerser here, and today I'll be discussing about a unique thing that just happened, just now actually. It just appeared uh, after I did my live stream, uh, well during my live stream, or probably after my, my live stream, I don't know. But yeah, um, apparently the new uh, Forbidden Limited list for Duel Links, and also new skill implementations are going to be coming out shortly. Uh, let's take a look, shall we? So this occurred just now at around 3 p.m. So happened around an hour ago, and uh, yeah, apparently 18th of June is when the skill changes will be made for both PVE and PVP. So yeah, interesting. Also, the new Forbidden Limited list uh, is going to be happening around 26th of June. So this is going to happen before, well, practically at the last week of the month, I think. Let me check my calendar. Yeah, it's going to take place in two weeks, but at the end of June, so around Tuesday, well, depending on where you live. Uh, for, for me, it's on a Tuesday of when they do special updates, and uh, yeah, apparently that's when it's going to take place. So let's take a look at the skill balance. So skill, uh, yeah, Yada, that's referring to the version 2.8 of the game. Uh, so Dragon of Fusion, we have added an additional effect to the skill, as simply, Adding Dragon's, Dragon's Mirror to the deck does not create new strategies. Well, you have to draw into it. That was the main problem with this skill. So that was like, if you drew into it, well, you're lucky. But if you didn't draw it, that's kind of unlucky. Uh, sk sealed Tombs. This skill is meant to reflect Shiza's duty as a Gravekeeper. So we have made it more powerful. I did not know this skill existed. I don't know about this skill. Interesting. Uh, Hobby's Last Wheel. I assume these skills already exist in the game. Uh, Hobby's Last Wheel. We have made the skill easy to use, but have added a limited number of times it can be used. Okay. Uh, we have made the skill easier to use uh, so that it can be taken advantage of in zombie type sex. Alright. Dual Standby. This skill was deemed to be too powerful. We have added limitation to it so it doesn't cause a deal to end in one turn. Yeah, that was a problem with dual standby. It was really, really strong in a way, since both players drew like five cards in hand, it's like more easy to OTK. So there's going to be a, a, a better easy, a better time with this skill to make it more easier, perhaps, but more nerfed is probably the best choice since dual standby is pretty broken. Restart is also broken and balance is kind of okay. Well, let's see. This skill has become more and more dominant as powerful new combos are discovered. So we've added a negative effect for restart. Okay, well, you reveal your tight hand and you get around 20 seconds to decide whether you want to restart or not. It's still doing the same thing, except it's on a little bit of a time limit. But who cares? Uh, balance. Uh, this skill was second most used skill next to restart. Really? I thought dual standby was more popular. I guess balance is... Well, balance and restart are the most two powerful skills in the game. So I guess they have to nerf it for a second time? I think? Yeah, I think this is the second time they've nerfed it. Uh, this skill was the most used skill next to restart and was highly versatile. So we have added an additional condition to weaken its versatility. Okay, I wonder what that is. Grit. Uh, this skill is most often used in high win ratios, so we have added a limit to the number of times it activates, and and removed the random elements to make it more predictable. Yeah, it was really easier to know, well, not easy to know, but it's random, it's very random. You might get lucky and OTK your opponent, or you might not. You have to be really cautious on if they actually can OTK you or not, and uh, it's grit is a godsend of a skill. It's annoying. So, a Jama Go, Destiny Draw, and Extra Extra. We have added a limit to the number of times this skill can cause duels to drag out. Yeah, a Jama Go and Extra Extra are two very, very strong skills, but Destiny Draw, I don't think that was needed to be nerfed. But then again, I don't know, I don't, I'm not really too sure on uh, how they'll nerf Destiny Draw. <coughs> uh, we'll see. Oh, update skills. Dragon Infusion. At the beginning of the duel, uh, add Dragon's Mirror to your, to your deck and shuffle it. So that's at the beginning, alright. Then, add 5 Head Dragon to your extra deck. Okay, so it does the same time. <coughs> can be used while uh, can be used when your life points increase by 1800. Okay, uh, instead of conducting your normal draw, you do Dragon Mirror instead. Draw Dragon Mirror instead. Uh, if this card's at the end from deck. Okay, 
This skill can be used once per duel. Well, you only use it once per duel anyway, considering it's you only get one copy. All right, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. They bumped it up. Well, didn't nerf it, but they increased the probability of this activating. So yeah, that was good. Uh, it's not nerf. What do you call that? Um, an upgrade? It's a good upgrade for the skill. So yeah, I like that. It might make Five-Headed Dragon a bit more consistent with Chaz. Uh, Seal Tombs. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, either player can banish cards from the graveyard or special summon mods from the graveyard. This can only be used once per duel. Huh. Interesting. So this is a, an upgrade. Um, okay. Um, well, we don't really special summon much from the graveyard anyway, so this skill doesn't really affect us too much. Uh, Harpy's Last Will can be used by banishing five Harpy cards from your graveyard. Add one Harpy's Feather Duster to your hand from outside of your deck. This skill can only be used once per duel. I can see this being abused with uh, Grasslock Screener, but then again, having five Harpies in your grave is not that hard if you run Grass. But I don't know. We'll. Gr uh, we'll We'd be making a Grasshog Screener Harpy deck, who knows? Okay, Posthumous Army. Can be used each time your life points decrease by a thousand. All monsters on the field and in both players' graveyards become zombie monsters until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, that's um that's not bad. That's pretty alright. Uh dual standby. Each player's starting hand increases by one card. Still the same effect, but you cannot activate Spell traps or moss effects on it on your first turn. Huh. Huh? So wait, if I go second, I will have and I use this. So I use this effect. I start off by drawing one, and then I can't activate anything. That is. It's like. Mine scans nerf, in a way, but I don't know. Uh, each okay, each player is starting hand increased by one. You you cannot activate spell traps on, on your first turn, so I assume it's your first turn. So okay, so this was a nerf to the opposing player who op who uses dual standby, so that he can't OTK you during or he or she cannot OTK you during their first turn. Okay, that's um that's reasonable. So. I guess you use dual standby more for a back row based cards. I guess you just it's more good for a uh, back row. Actually, yeah, I, I think dual standby is pretty good. Pretty good now. Uh, it's more nerfed, but it's more useful now for back row based decks instead of um, instead of OTK based decks, which was mostly which was mostly what dual standby was uh, a skill for. All right, restart. What is its nerf effect? Can be only, can be used only once after starting hands are dealt. Are dealt. Okay, can only be used after starting hands are dealt. Reveal and redraw your starting hand. Your first draw will be skipped if you use a skill. Wait, what? Can be used only once after starting hands are dealt. Isn't that how it always starts off with? All right. Reveal and redraw your starting hand. Okay, that's kind of the same thing in a way, but here's the downside. So they took out the 20. So they the good thing is they took out the 22nd mark, I think, or that's still in. I don't know. Uh, but your first draw will be skipped if you use a skill. So your first draw. So I assume if you're going second, you won't get a draw. You'll be starting off with four cards in your hand as normal, but you don't get a draw during the second turn. All right, that's um, that's interesting. I wonder if they still kept the 20 second uh, delay thing in. I'm not too sure. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Uh, balance. Your starting hand will reflect the card balance of your deck. Okay, that hasn't changed. Uh, this skill will not activate unless you have at least six of each type. Okay. Monster spell and trap in your deck. That is a really big nerf to balance. I think balance is kind of dead now. If that's the case. Huh. Six of each. So you need 18 monster spell and traps. Well, around eight, up to 18 of each. 
sorry, not 18 of each, up to 18 of the total number, and need two extra. How does that work out? I assume you still start off with one monster, one spell, and one trap, considering that they all have an equal amount, but depending on your last two cards, that is interesting. I assume they're just going to be at least spell and traps. So you have around maybe seven spells and seven traps, or six spells and eight traps. But you need at least six of each. That's really weird. It's a good nerf, uh, I'm not going to lie. That's actually a really good nerf, but it ruins balance in a way. Oh well, that's what they're aiming for. Grit, if you had 4,000 more life points at the start of the turn, your life points would not fall, be, uh, fall below one at the, start, at the start of that turn. Okay, that time only. Okay, this girl can only have once a turn. All right, last all. So if your opponent has 4,000 or more life points during that starting turn, they will not go one. So now it's more predictable. So now, if your opponent has 4,000 life points and they're playing Grit, you cannot OTK them during that turn only. So they get an extra turn to survive. Either way, they'll survive no matter what. So that does make it... Oh, okay. Start that turn. So you have to weaken them by a little bit, and then they can't activate grit during the next turn. Alright, so you have to do a little bit of that. Try and do as much damage as possible during the, their turn, like, or during your turn to deal with damage if you're going second. But yeah, anyway. Uh, Jama Go. Can be used when your life points decrease by 1800. Like, I think that's how it works normally. Or is it 2000? I'm not sure. Especially summon a Jama token on your opponent's side of the field. On your opponent's side of the field in defense position. This skill can only be used once for duel. Okay. So you only get one token. Alright, that's um, interesting. I don't know if that changed or not, but oh well. Uh, Destiny draw can be used when your life points increase by 2,000. In, in the draw phase, instead of conducting your next, conducting your normal draw, draw a card of your choice. This skill can only be used once for duel. Oh, that's the nerf they put for it. So you can only use it once for Destiny Draw. That's a really big nerf. That's a really big nerf. Huh. Extra, extra. Uh, can be used when your life points decrease by 2,000. Uh, like usual. During your draw phase, add to your hand one copy of the card you draw from your normal draw. So what was the nerf with extra, extra? What was it previously? Let me just double check. So, was it 1800? I think it was 1800. Uh, 2000. In the draw phase, draw a, car, a, a card you draw is duplicated. So, can be used when your life points during normal during your draw phase. Uh, add to your hand one copy of the card you drew as your normal draw. One copy of the card you. It's exactly the same skill. I don't know what's wrong, well, what's changed about it. It says you're in your draw phase. That's the only thing they changed about it in a way. Add to your hand one copy of the card you drew as your normal draw. Alright, I don't know what I don't know what that nerf is about. Alright, these skills we implemented, yada yeah, yada yeah, yada. Okay. What's this? Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for the skills. That was interesting read, an interesting read. So, sh please check the details of the Bin Limited list below. Okay. This is going to be happening on the 26th of June 2018. I can see that Master Morph is on. Uh, that, is that one now? Okay. So, to hit the troll deck card, which was Master Morph. So, now you can only play one Master Morph. Which is pretty dumb because you can't use it for farming now, which sucks. So. That's not good, but it's good in the sense because it hits it in the PvP factor, which is good because this card was annoying because I hate versing troll decks online and they just flip up Master Morph and like, oh, great. So I'll summon Null Monster. Great, they activate Null Master Morph. I can't do anything. It's annoying. This card is absolutely annoying. So, the reason behind this. The, this card slowed down duels too often, so we are limiting it to improve game pacing. Yep, that's actually a really good choice. I'm happy with this. I'm happy that they hit this card. This card was absolutely annoying. 
So I target one phase of monster opponent controls, its attack and defense become double current attack and defense, but it cannot attack directly. Yeah, that was the downside of, well, upside of this card, but also the downside as well. Which was stupid. Oh, they hit this card. Semi limited to two. So these are cards are going two, so they can only be used. So anything that is two in particular, you can only use two cards of those in particular. So if you have uh, one secret pass and something else, you can't run a second secret pass. You can only run one of each card that is semi limited. So it's pretty much like limited in a way, but at the same time, not really, because duelings, how duelings works is. With two, you can only have two cards of the semi-limited table. So you can only run two cards in the semi-limited. You can't play any more. You can only play one of each, or two of one specific card. But you can only have up to two of what's in the table. So, Assault Armor. Okay, what does Secret Pass do? This card can cause duels to end too quickly, and thus will be semi-limited. The only reason uh, this card was existed, the only, uh, the only, let me try it again. This card was only used in PvE, mostly used for farm decks. I don't know why they hit it in Pv for PvP, PvP type of things. I assume it's to do with the Silent Swordsman, probably, or maybe a Troll Factor deck, maybe, and to do with uh, this card. But that's probably the only reason why I'm. Uh, that's the only reason why I think that's why it exists. But I don't know why they hit this card. This card was. This guy didn't need to be hit. I don't know why it needed. I don't know why it hit, they hit it. Anyway, this uh, assault armor. This card can only. This card. Sorry. This card can cause duels to end too quickly and thus will be simulated. I. Another reason why I don't know why this card got hit. Um, this card was fine the way it was. Uh, no one uses it unless you're running a troll deck in particular. But yeah, I assume Konami's hitting decks that run a lot of trophies cards so yeah enemy controller this card has been a staple for two for a long time but we have decided to semi limit as it can be used in almost any deck and often causes duels to end quickly immediately yeah that was the problem with enemy controller it was the best card to counter other decks it can be used in any deck so that's the reason why this card was hit sadly it's time to shine it's time for to shine was uh, impactful. I don't know. Uh, this card was really good. That's what I'm saying. But I guess now it's time for it to go uh, in Chaz's turn. Bye bye. But yeah, cover base. We are semi limiting semi limiting this card to prevent duels from taking too long. Uh, okay. So they're hitting a lot of cards used by Taya. Uh, well, the only reason why you see this is in Taya and also uh, for Troll decks in particular, or anything that locks down specific decks. So, for example, Cyberstein. So, yeah, um, I guess this is okay for a hit. It's a, it's a gen degenerate card. It's a degenerate card, but it's not that too degenerate, but it does... Um, it does hurt a bit, but... I don't know. Uh, Hero Shadow Scout. Oh, they, they just... Ooh... Uh, what's it called? They hit mill pretty hard. Okay, we are preemptively adding this card to the semi-limited list to prevent certain decks from becoming too prevalent after the forbidden limit list is updated. Okay, so they're hitting Taya mill, so that's... Well, Taya mill was mostly used against Sylvans. That was the only thing that was a counter to Sylvans. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why they hit this, but... Um, sure, Hero Shadow Scout it was annoying. So what it does is, when it gets flipped, you can draw three cards. Your opponent draws three cards, sorry. But you look at your opponent's uh, draws for what they drew, and if any of them were spells, they discard them. So anything there were spells re referring to what they drew gets discarded, if that makes sense. Rose Lover. Yeah, people were speculating this card to get hit. So, yeah. So Sylvans will only play this at two now. And considering that they do play enemy controller, they can only play at least two of this, or one of the enemy controller and one Rose Lover. So it was a good hit. Uh, this card has been very prominent, and decks with this card have had a high win ratio. Therefore, we will be semi-limited this card to encourage deck diversity. Yeah, this card was only used by Aramages and also Sylvans. That's the only reason why this, deck, uh, this card was hit. And uh, yeah, that's a shame, but oh well. 
Uh, Silver Marshleaf, wow. They're hitting Sylvans pretty hard. Uh, we are similarly meeting this card to promote deck diversity. This deck was only used in Sylvans. What do you mean by deck diversity? This, this card was only used by Sylvans. Okay, so Sylvans are definitely getting the big nerf in this one. Yeah, that is a big shame, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so when it's normal summon, you can excavate one to two cards. And if any of them were Sylvans or plant types, they go to the graveyard. And rest go back to the bottom of your deck in any order. Okay. Uh, Amazon is Onslaught. We assembly this card to promote deck diversity. Okay. You mean deck choice diversity? Alright. So this card is going at two. So Amazon is now... Alright. So we can only play one Onslaught. Which is kind of sad. But at the same time, we might need to run other options other than enemy controller. That's probably the reason why Onslaught needs to go to two. Okay. Cyber Petite Angel. I'll just show you Amazon's Onslaught. Okay, Cyber Cheat Angel. If this card is summoned, you can add one Cyber Angel or Machine Angel or Ritual from your deck to your hand. Uh, you only use this effect once per turn. I don't know why this is at two now. Oh, wait, then again. I assume Cyber Angels are getting a null nerf, so that. So let's see. Takini and Machine Angel, Ritual, Machine Angel Ritual are also hit, and now Cyber Cheat Angel is also hit. So the deck consistency is going to get much, much lower. That is scary for Cyber Angels. Okay, I guess that's probably one of the reasons why they have to hit it due to the limited list. Uh, the new list that's going to come out in two weeks. Pulse Mines. We are seven limited this card to, uh, to promote deck diversity. This card was only used in uh, Gigia. So, well, competitively. So, that's interesting. The way they're hitting Pulse Mines. So, I'm guessing the demand is going to be changed quite a lot now. I hmm. guess we have to change what we put in our decks instead of running enemy controller. Well, I guess the deck diversity is going to be much, much slower now. It's not going to be as fast as they did. I like this list because it slows down the game. So now we are going to be moving more to a slower format, which is good. I prefer slower formats rather than faster formats. Faster formats are really... Well, you have to know how people are running like quick play spells and all those uh, OTK-based cards. But yeah, I'm surprised it didn't hit mass change. But anyway, Celestial. We are limited semi limited cards, yada yada yada. Okay, this card was kind of a problem in Heroes because they can get as much draw as they can, but now I guess they can only go once for it. Uh, drawing once, so yeah, Mars Heroes are going to be a little bit more slower, but they're still pretty fast. I think they're out of all the meta based decks, this card's going to get a buff. At the same time, it does get a nerf as well, so alright. Well, at least. Uh, you can play one of this now in your uh, structure deck since this deck, since this card was only obtainable with one structure deck. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, no longer on the list, Red Eye Spirit. We are removing this card from the list, as we believe, uh, believe as we believe having three copies of this card is no longer overpowered in the current meta game. Yeah, Red Eyes have actually fallen out of the meta at the moment. They're really slow, and a lot of decks nowadays can actually OTK pretty fast. So, yeah, I guess Red Eyes are coming back, maybe? Don't know. But if Red Eyes are coming back, that's pretty good. I guess Red Eyes are, uh, Red Eyes are pretty good. I'm, I'm going to try that out once we get the... Uh, once we get this out free. So what did happen in the previous list? Golden Bamboo Sword. Oh, that was the only change. Um, and Sprites. Okay. They did hit other stuff as well. So, yeah, they hit Machine Angel and stuff. So, hmm. Okay, well, this is a uh, interesting list. Oh, results are in. Regarding the results of the qualifiers. Okay, so this update as well. That was quick. That was really quick. It's good cheating. Oh, in addition to aggravating the results, it was going for cheating the WCS. Based on results of an investigation, people who are found to be cheating have been removed from the rankings. Okay, so people have gone up uh, from the rankings and have actually got removed. So I might be in a better spot now that the people who have cheated in the top rankings have been removed, I think. And we get a survey as well. We, well, we don't get anything for the survey, so I'm not going to bother with that. So I wonder what I got in my result. Results are in. I scored 1,686. Not bad. I only... Competed like five times due to my dual points. 
So, what did I get for rankings? Well, that was my result. So, what were the ranking results? So, I got 1,608. So, I get two super rare tickets. Oh, that's not bad. I do get one ultra ticket. Ooh, lag. Or loading factor. Alright, that's not bad. I don't mind getting two super rare tickets. That's what I was kind of aiming for. No, well. Sweet. So, deck maker. There's all, these are all the people from my region. So, I wonder who ranked in... Uh, Overall, North America, PK, all right. Um, all right, I guess that's it. Ranking rewards. Rewards received. So I get an icon, get an ultra rare ticket, which is cool, and two super rare tickets, and 150,000 gold, which is pretty cool. All right, uh, that'll be it uh, for this one. Hope you guys like this uh, well, this update, referring to the Forbidden Limited list and the uh, new uh, skill implementations for Duel Links. This is interesting. It was it was an interesting video. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I wonder how the meta is gonna be uh, after the month is over. This will be interesting. I'll I think Red Eyes might make a comeback. Dinos are probably gonna make a comeback. Anything that was like tier one now is gonna drop to like probably tier 2 or tier 3 depending but as for tier 2s they're probably going to bump up a bit considering that I think master is a pretty fast uh, even with uh, celestial one it's still pretty fast uh, but yeah uh, what else there is maybe gladi beasts are going to pop up I'm excited I'm very excited for the new meta that's going to come out after June 26 uh, yeah anyway hope you guys enjoy enjoyed this video this is Adisa here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Signing out. Bye.